did they was trying to recruit um Krishan. That, that's what that's what Diddy and uh what the, what the girl Krishit Krish Karisha was trying to recruit Rock Crete with very very serious and salacious allegations. Uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his home. In the latest jaw-dropping revelation, the rap world is buzzing with scandalous news surrounding Blueface's tumultuous saga. Brace yourselves as we delve into the sizzling details that have ignited a firestorm of controversy. What sparked this chaos, you ask? Well, it all traces back to an explosive allegation involving none other than hip-hop mogul Diddy and City Girls Young Miami and a purported attempt to lure Chris and Rock into a world of seduction and debauchery. Why are you looking like that? For real? With the tension reaching a boiling point, Blueface's reaction has sent shockwaves through the industry. But what exactly went down? Let's unravel the truth behind this scandal that has everyone talking. According to Saffel, the alleged recruitment attempts were not merely speculative, but deeply troubling. Remember that when they was heavily trying to get Rock to hang out with them? I think they was trying to recruit her. Saffold's voice echoes through the digital sphere, hinting at the gravity of the situation. The enticing invitations, the persistent calls at all points to a web of intrigue that threatens to ensnare those involved. But why would Diddy and Young Miami resort to such tactics? The answers lie shrouded in mystery, waiting to be unveiled. Before we dissect Blueface's explosive reaction, it's crucial to understand the context behind the alleged recruitment attempts. What drives these high-profile figures to such extremes, and what skeletons lurk in their closets? The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. Recent legal filings have thrust Diddy and Young Miami into the spotlight, exposing a dark underbelly of the music industry. The lawsuit filed by Rodney Jones against Diddy has unearthed at a Pandora's box of shocking revelations. Jones, armed with damning evidence, accuses Diddy of indulging in a sordid world of substances and exploitation. But what role does Young Miami play in this sordid saga? According to court documents, Diddy's insatiable appetite for a substance known as pink snow is at the heart of the scandal. This potent blend of snow and molly allegedly fueled the mogul's hedonistic lifestyle, with Young Miami implicated as a key player in its distribution. As the plot thickens, it becomes increasingly apparent that Diddy's empire is built on a foundation of corruption and vice. I mean, if you a city girl, go get you a bad boy so you can act bad, because we acting bad. I'm f***ing with some of you, all right? We're just enjoying life, living our fucking best. But that's not all. Jones's lawsuit paints a disturbing picture of Diddy's illicit activities, including allegations of sex trafficking and exploitation. Reports suggest that Diddy orchestrated what he chillingly referred to as freak-offs twisted gatherings where Cassie and other women were coerced into engaging in intimate acts with male sex workers. The depths of depravity seem bottomless as we peel back the layers of this macabre tale. According to Cassie's friend Tiffany Red, who bravely spoke out against the alleged abuses, these freak-offs were nothing short of traumatizing ordeals. In a gut-wrenching interview, Tiffany recounted Cassie's harrowing experiences, revealing a disturbing pattern of manipulation and exploitation orchestrated by Diddy. He backed into the corner, and he was like cussing her out with his hand in his, fit in her face. Later that night, Red, who was staying at Cassie's home, says she awoke to screaming. The extent of Diddy's control over Cassie's artistic pursuits is equally distressing. Tiffany revealed that Diddy withheld opportunities for Cassie to further her music career unless she complied with his twisted demands. The only time he was willing to work on her music or go through any plans, any of that, was when she had a freak off Tiffany lamented, highlighting the insidious power dynamics at play. I remember like looking in his eyes and I said to him, what did y'all do? Because I could see that she was like really sedated. That was the first time I ever seen her. But the horror doesn't end there. Cassie's legal filings shed light on the ghastly details of these freak-offs exposing a nightmarish underworld of exploitation and substance abuse. Allegations abound of Diddy supplying copious amounts of substances to Cassie and the male sex workers, inducing a state of disassociation to facilitate his twisted desires. The scenes described in the court documents are nothing short of grotesque, with Diddy reportedly directing Cassie's every move as if orchestrating a perverse spectacle for his own gratification. And I remember, like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but like, I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. The filing detailed how Diddy would film Cassie having tlof tlof, directing her actions and instructing her on how to interact with the male sex workers. Cassie stated that Diddy insisted on specific details such as her wearing lingerie, white nail polish, and pouring excessive amounts of oil over herself during the foes. The grim reality of these allegations is enough to turn one's stomach, casting a dark shadow over the glitz and glamour of the music industry. As the fallout from this scandal continues to reverberate, questions abound regarding the complicity of those who turned a blind eye to Diddy's alleged atrocities. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes. 
So it's no surprise that Blueface, caught in the maelstrom of this scandal, would react with fury upon learning of Chrissy Rock's involvement. Sources close to the rapper reveal that he is incensed by the mere suggestion of Rock being drawn into the tangled web of Diddy's alleged machinations. Blueface's livid whispers one insider, hinting at the storm brewing beneath the surface. His rage, palpable and raw, underscores the gravity of the situation. But amidst the turmoil, some fans were quick to mock his reaction. They think it's overdue, since information about attempts to entice Dian has been leaking online for a long time. Speculation has been rife in the digital sphere, with whispers of clandestine dealings and underhanded maneuvers circulating for months. Krizian's claims regarding Diddy's intervention in her pay dispute with Zeus Network CEO Lemuel Plummer only added fuel to the fire. Go on over there and tell me if I'm lying. I'm telling you, they was trying to recruit that baby. They said, let's get her away from him. Furthermore, old news resurfaces amidst the chaos, with fans reminiscing about Krizian's previous assertions regarding Diddy's protective stance towards her. Reports of Diddy allegedly intervening on her behalf during contractual disputes serve as a chilling reminder of the power dynamics at play within the industry. Moreover, Young Miami's public support for Christian during her conflicts with Blueface only adds another layer of complexity to the narrative. The intertwining relationships and allegiances underscore the intricate dance of power and influence that defines the music industry. Attentive fans started scouring the net for past videos from Christian and dug up footage of her at Diddy's parties where she was invited. She even made claims in those videos that Diddy was hitting on her, kissing her, trying to pull her into the bedroom. The emergence of these videos casts a glaring spotlight on the blurred boundaries and ethical quagmires that permeate the entertainment world. Christian's presence at Diddy's gatherings raises eyebrows, prompting speculation about the nature of their relationship and the extent of her involvement in his inner circle. But amidst these disturbing revelations, it appears that Christian may have narrowly avoided the harrowing fate that befell Cassie and other alleged victims of Diddy's alleged abuses. As the saga unfolds, rumors swirl regarding Diddy's whereabouts and the looming specter of legal repercussions. Reports of federal raids on Diddy's lavish residences have sent shockwaves through the industry, with helicopters buzzing overhead and uniformed officials seizing boxes of potential evidence. The Department of Homeland Security's involvement in the simultaneous raids hints at the gravity of the situation, with speculation rife about the nature of the federal investigation. Some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information. While Diddy's attorney denounces the raids as an unprecedented ambush and vehemently denies any wrongdoing on his client's part, the mounting pile of civil lawsuits and allegations paints a damning picture of the once revered music mogul. From accusations of physical abuse to sordid tales of substance-fueled debauchery, the scandal surrounding Diddy's alleged misdeeds continues to escalate. As the dust settles from the raids, questions linger about Diddy's current whereabouts and the potential fallout from the federal investigation. Some speculate that the seized phones and other evidence may hold the key to unraveling the truth behind the allegations, while others wonder if Diddy's high-profile status will shield him from accountability. Yet, as the legal drama unfolds, one can't help but wonder if Diddy's days of evading justice are numbered. With whispers of RICO charges and the specter of jail time looming on the horizon, the possibility of Diddy facing consequences for his alleged actions grows increasingly likely. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. And what of Blueface, caught in the midst of this whirlwind of scandal and intrigue? As he awaits his impending release from jail this July, the prospect of Diddy already behind bars adds a new layer of complexity to an already convoluted narrative. Will justice prevail or will the murky depths of the music industry's underbelly continue to shield its most powerful players from accountability. Public opinion on the unfolding scandal surrounding Diddy and Young Miami is as divided as it is impassioned. While some fans are quick to condemn Young Miami for her alleged involvement, others express shock and disillusionment at the lengths people are willing to go for fame and fortune. One commenter asserts Young Miami needs to face the consequences if she took part in what he did. This sentiment reflects a prevailing belief among some fans that accountability should extend to all parties implicated in the scandal, regardless of their status or influence. Another fan expresses disbelief, remarking, it's shocking how much people are willing to sell their soul for fame and money. This comment underscores the disillusionment felt by many in the wake of the scandal, highlighting the perceived moral bankruptcy of those involved. As we wrap up this riveting exploration into the scandalous saga engulfing the rap world, we invite you, our devoted viewers, to join the conversation. What's your take on the allegations against Diddy and Young Miami? Do you believe fame and fortune are worth sacrificing one's morals? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay tuned for more updates.